Today I'm going to spend a little bit of time actually exploring Andy Savish's book about the Mind Lab. And what I'm going to do is set up a coin shooter program. So what the coin shooter program does and what Andy's book walks you through is a special program that takes advantage of some of the Mind Lab features such as tone break, tone pitch, volume adjustments, and also um, some special settings with regard to iron bias and recovery speed. So I'm going to go ahead and film that, film the programming of that, and then test this with some targets in my backyard. So let's see what we can figure out and learn together. As you can see here, I am in park one mode. The first thing that I'm going to do is press the settings button and I'm going to move over to the accept reject icon, which is the check mark and the X. Once I'm there, I'm going to depress my settings button a second time. I'm going to hold it for two seconds until the line appears below accept reject telling us that we are in the advanced mode, which, which means that we are in the setting for the target breaks. Okay, the target breaks. The first thing in Andy's suggestions here is that uh, we're to move the plus button up to the number 11 segment. Now this is interesting, watch what happens here. I can move this up to number nine. That's as far as I can go, number nine. We're going to come back to that, but for now, we're setting our first tone break at 9. To move to the next bin, we're going to uh, select or press the Accept Reject button, okay? And here, we're going to move to 13, and again, hit the Accept Reject button. Next, we're going to advance to, actually, we're going to move down to 17. For tone three, see T3, this is segment three. Okay, hit the accept reject button again. Now we're going to advance down to 21. Hit the accept reject button. And notice we're back to T1. And earlier I could only go up to nine. Andy's description, his suggestions, his instructions say to set that to 11. For some reason, the second time you you go here, you can advance past nine up to eleven. So again, I'm going to hit that, and I'm I'm going to re. What we're doing is resetting where our tone breaks are. Okay. So let's just double check here. I have thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one, and eleven. So next, we're going to go back to our settings icon, our gear icon, and this time we're going to scroll over until the tone icon, the tone icon is um, highlighted. We're going to depress that and hold that for two seconds, and we're, again, we are in the advanced mode, which now takes us to tone pitch. This is only available on the 800, not the, the 600. And we're going to um, notice in the first tone, that pitch, the first bin, it's set to number one. We're going to move to the second one, and it is set to six. We're going to bump that up to 20. <laughs> Hear those different sounds? Okay, we're going to select Accept, Reject. For T3, we're actually moving that down to eight. Hit Accept. For the next one, we're going to actually move this down to 15. And for T5, that is at 25, we're going to leave there at 25. Again, we'll go back to the settings or the gear icon. This time, we're going to cursor over to the volume button, the volume button. And again, we're going to hold that down for two seconds. The advanced 
mode is then selected. Okay. For T1, we're going to turn that down to 10, except for that. The next one, we'll leave at 25. For T3, we're going to turn this down to 15, except T4, we're going to turn the volume there down to 20. For the last one, we will leave that set onto 25, okay? Now, at this point, we've programmed the Equinox to eliminate all the targets that register in the minus 9 to the plus 1 range. We've set specific bins with specific tones assigned that cover uh, tone 1 is now low conductive, non-ferrous targets. These are things like foil, silver, aluminum, that type of thing. Tone 2 will be nickels, and uh, that's going to equal a, a 20. Tone three, this is where our pull tabs, those nasty little pull tabs, uh, can slaw, aluminum shreds, maybe even corroded pennies exist, okay? And the tone there equals eight. Tone four, this will be a tone of 15 for our Indian heads and our, our zinc pennies. And then lastly, tone five. This, is, this includes, we've set this up for copper pennies, clad, silver coins, maybe a larger aluminum trash, and that tone will equal 25. Now on top of this, on top of this, what I'm also going to test here, number one is I'm going to go to my iron bias setting here. I'm gonna go into the advanced mode. That is the iron bias setting. I'm actually gonna set this at four. And the next thing I'm going to do is adjust my recovery speed which I need to leave the advanced mode, go into the local mode. Okay, I'm going to adjust this to four as well. Okay. Now I have one other thing I'm going to do to set up this program here. And in this case, watch this, I'm actually going to go over to my accept reject. And again, I have to hold this two seconds to go back to accept reject. And I'm going to um, discriminate um, a few additional IDs, okay? A few additional IDs. And what I'm going to do here is move to, this is already discriminated, okay? Uh, minus 9 to, to, to uh, 1 is already discriminated. But I'm actually going to um, discriminate all the way up to 10. Okay, so I've discriminated now minus 9 all the way up to 10. And I'm going to leave 11 through 14. Um, I'm going to leave that on. I'm accepting those. But I'm going to discriminate or remove my IDs from 15 all the way up to 18. If you make a mistake and you want to go back and add one of these segments, you just hit the minus button down and hit accept reject again. It's either accepting or it's rejecting. But again, I want to go all the way up to 18 and I want to eliminate that as well. Okay. So, and then lastly, we'll just go all the way to the end here. We're going to also eliminate 39 and 40. Okay. 39 and 40. So we've set some new target tone breaks. We've adjusted some tone pitches unique to those bins. We've adjusted our tone volume. We've set a specific setting for iron bias of four, recovery speed of four, and we've discriminated out minus nine to 10. We've accepted 11 to 14. We've rejected 15 to 18. We have accepted here 19 to 38, and we've also rejected 39 to 40. The last thing that I'm going to want to do now, after having spent uh, all this time setting this thing up, I want to save this profile. I'm going to save this profile here. And to do that, I'm actually going to depress my profile button, which is the second down here on the right. 
I'm gonna press and hold that until I hear that beep and we have this little silhouette, profile silhouette. So there we go. This is the coin shooter program with some cherry picking profiles set up. Again, where did I acquire this? This is part of Andy Savish's Mind Lab is everything, performance is everything book specifically. Take a look at pages 75, 76, 77. Let's see how this works with some targets in my backyard. And thanks for watching. I hope this works and I hope you've learned something um, as well. Excellent. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do here is do an air test on some common items just to see how this program reacts to some of those things, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, what we have set up here are some common items here on this board. I've written on the board what they are, and we're gonna go ahead and see how these perform with an air test. I've turned my sensitivity back up to, I think, 20, and we're gonna see how the Equinox responds. So the first item up is a zinc penny, a modern penny. Okay, it is ringing that up in the 20s. Do you hear the tone? Next is a wheat penny. Wheat pennies ringing up as you would expect, 25. I'm gonna move over to my nickel, modern nickel. There's that 13. Little trick with the nickel, if, you, if you're getting a nickel signal and you, you see a 13, and if you turn, you get an 11, forget it. Don't even waste your time, that is not a nickel. Okay, next is a modern quarter. Modern clad George Washington quarter, bringing up 29 or 30. Next up, two mercury dimes here, 27, 28. If you watched one of my last videos, um, I found a mercury dime actually on 26 too. So anywhere from 26 to 28. Modern Roosevelt dime here, ringing up as a 25. And this is a Liberty silver coin, 38. Okay, now let's take a look at some trash and see if indeed this program's discriminating, discriminating out some of these items. So the first item here, okay, next we have a square pull tab and that has been eliminated. It is not picking up the square pull tab. Next item up is the beaver tail pull tab. Aha, uh -huh. so look what we're getting here. We are still getting a 13. If I turn that, am I getting any kind of other signal? Yeah, it's jumping down at least into the 12. I'd probably dig that though and be fold. Next item is a Corona bottle cap. Hasn't, hasn't completely discriminated it. Very jumpy though. Not getting a solid tone. I would recognize that as trash. Next up, PepsiCo bottle cap. Jumpy signal as well as jumpy tones. Next item is a random bottle cap. I, it's so bad, rusty, I couldn't even tell you what type it is. It is picking that up as 13. Jumpy. And then a random piece of junk. Wasn't sure what that is, so. Did it completely, does this program completely discriminate out some of the trash? No, but um, it does seem to be working on some. So what we're gonna do next is check out some targets I've identified and compare how how this program works actually with targets in the ground. And I'm also gonna see how my simplex compares as well. Stay tuned.